Hello. Now, I was actually promised that tonight there would be um, a PowerPoint projector and a screen set up, but there isn't. So instead, I'm going to have to do my um, PowerPoint talk using some drawings that I've done as a sort of storyboard. Sorry. I don't think it's really going to be the same. Um, I'm just going to get a drink of water because my lips are sort of sticking to my teeth. Sorry. <laughs> This is my talk on sex toys. <laughs> now you may think that sex toys are a strange subject for a talk, but I actually work in a sex shop in Kemp Town, and I've seen all sorts in my time. <laughs> the earliest known sex toy in this country dates from the 19th century and was operated by machinery about the size of this room <laughs> and used by doctors to administer mad women with an orca. <laughs> to alleviate their symptoms. It's not available on the NHS today. I did ask. <laughs> Chocolate buttons. These can be placed on your body parts and allowed to melt slowly over time. Place them on your nipples. <laughs> on your kneecaps. And your stomach area. They can then be removed by licking. Or you can have them fed to you before initiating sex. <laughs> You can also get chocolate mousse ready-made, three for one forty-nine, or 18 for 29 pence in Lidl. Because let's face it, it doesn't matter what it tastes like, it's all in the presentation. <laughs> Be inventive, sorry. Here you can see a picture of my naked body with tea bags hidden in my alcoves. <laughs> my boyfriend has to try and find them. If it takes ages and you're all worn out, you can stop and have a cup of tea. You can also try this with grapes, raisins and orange segments. I didn't know I liked uh, coffee creams until they were presented in a very unusual bowl. It's a hairy bowl, sorry. Now Christmas is coming and so sex toys can be topical. You can use them to spice up your Christmas. For example, instead of dripping hot wax on your partner, why not consider pouring brandy on him and setting fire to it? <laughs> you can also get a nice stocking filler. We do chocolate penis lollipops in our shop, which make a great stocking filler for your husband, wife or child. Um, be careful though, because as you suck them, they do actually get smaller. And that can be confusing for some of you. Although it might have happened to some of you. And um, balls, sorry. Um, balls can be inserted into the body, but be careful to hold on tight to the string, as the body has a powerful tendency to suck up anything which is introduced, and the only way to have it removed is to have it cut out. For this reason, butt plugs come with a wide base. This one looks like a little traffic cone. One father nearly bought some for his son's play garage until I told him what they were. Then he just bought the one and wore it home. You couldn't tell, although I was walking at a 45 degree angle. <laughs> um, bondage. Now you can um, try bondage at home. Simply wrap your partner in cling film and pop him in the airing cupboard. Go back after a minute to make a hole so he can breathe. I like to build up anticipation by reading a bit of a Marianne's Keys novel. Now you can find sex toys lying around the house. Um, here you can see um, an Argos climbing frame. You, make that, you can't make that out at all, can you? Um, an Argos climbing frame um, with my naked body strapped to the top with a complicated series of um, straps and slings. Uh, I'm waiting to be lowered onto a... for gratification. Um, unfortunately, England um, got through to the quarterfinals that afternoon and Dave forgot about me and embarked on a weekend bender. Um, well, the landlord came round to read the water meter and released me, so. That's a European championship, I won't forget in a hurry. Um, next up, um, if you want to know what it's like to have your um, clitoris pierced, simply attach a paper clip to it and give it a good whack with a strong shoe. Um, if you find you like it, you can advance to a, a short-handled sledgehammer and a five-inch vice. Um, and if you're into rubber, B&Q do a sledgehammer with a cushioned grip. <laughs> 
Um, and finally, role play. Uh, role play is a great way to have a, a sexy time for no money at all. Um, my partner likes to pretend uh, we're married. Um, he waits until I've gone to bed and then he looks at porn and has a wank. The best one was when um, he got dressed up as a drugged up burglar. It was dark and rough and exciting. He's never mentioned it though, so why won't until he does? Right, now that'll do for that bit now. Thank you for listening and thank you for not heckling me.